The company of shot. The musket was the main battlefield weapon for infantry during the English Civil Wars. There are several variations of muskets, but most musketeers were armed with a matchlock, which got its name from using a piece of burning cord soaked in saltpetre to ignite a gunpowder charge and thus fire the gun. The musketeer wore a bandolier from which were suspended wooden bottles, each containing enough gunpowder for one shot, and a leather pouch containing lead musket balls, the actual bullets. The gun was loaded by pouring fine grain gunpowder into the flash pan, a small pan on the side of the firing mechanism to prime the musket. He then blows off any loose gunpowder to stop an unintended explosion, then pours the main charge of gunpowder down the barrel of the gun from the muzzle, the firing end. On top of this goes the lead musket ball and a piece of wadding, paper or grass, to tamp the shot down. This is rammed down with a scouring stick, a ramrod, as used in later centuries. And this, in return, is then placed back under the barrel of the gun in order to stop it being fired off by accident. Blowing on the match cord to make sure the end is glowing hot, the musketeer is now ready to fire the gun. When the trigger is pulled, the match cord plunges into the pan, igniting the gunpowder charge and firing the musket. A well-trained musketeer could perhaps fire two or three shots in a minute. The musket was very inaccurate by modern standards, and whilst in theory had a range of 200 metres or more, would be lucky to hit someone with an aim shot at 50 metres. As a result, musketeers were grouped together in tight bodies to all fire together in a salvo, creating a hail of lead. The lead musket could cause horrific injuries and leave an exit wound the size of a saucer. At the beginning of the Civil War, muskets were often quite heavy, and many musketeers carried a forked stick or rest to help them aim. These were quickly abandoned, not least as muskets got lighter as the war went on. In addition, increasingly flintlock or doglock muskets replaced the matchlock musket, which used a flint and steel firing mechanism to create sparks and ignite the gunpowder charge, making it much more reliable than the matchlock. When it came to hand-to-hand -hand fighting, the musketeer could use his sword, or simply use the hefty wooden butt of his musket as a fearsome club. Musketeers became increasingly important as the war went on. In most infantry regiments at the start of the war, there was one musketeer for every pikeman. But by the end of the war, there were at least two, often as many as four musketeers for every pikeman. The musketeer could kill at a distance, but was still vulnerable to cavalry, so it depended on the pikeman for protection.